In today's video, I'm going to go over what it costs me to build a guitar, what it would cost me to sell that guitar at a profit, and what it's probably going to cost you to build a guitar, um, because I'm not getting a discount on parts. So basically, what I buy my parts for to build my guitar, you can buy them for the same price. So if you're going to build a guitar, this is what it's going to cost. Now, naturally, the kind of guitar you build is going to be... Um, the costs are going to be up different for each guitar you build. If you build a Strat style guitar, it's going to cost different than a Tele style guitar. That's going to cost different than a like Les Paul style guitar. And if you build a hollow body guitar, you know, every one of them costs are going to be different. So I'm just going to take basically one guitar. We might do two, but probably one will end up being long. We'll do one guitar, a guitar that I built, how much it actually cost. I'll go through what it's going to cost and then, um, what I would have to sell that at to make a profit. So the guitar we're going to talk about is this guitar right here. Now this is a Strat style guitar, three single coil pickups, a bolt on neck, um, hardtail bridge, not a tremolo bridge. Um, and this guitar was made on the, I wouldn't say the cheaper side, but it wasn't the most expensive parts out there. For instance, um, I used to use Grover tuners on my guitars, but I use Wilkinsons. Grover tuners cost about $50, $55 a set. I think the Wilkinsons cost about $30 a set. So, you know, you got that. Um, if you go on to StuartMcDonald.com or Stuart McDonald Magazine and buy all the parts, um, the, the price I'm going to give you for this guitar, what it cost me to build it, is probably going to be double that. So, we're going to use whole numbers here. So, on this guitar, I think it cost me right at $300. That's what it cost me for all the parts. Everything. Neck, um, frets, tuners, pickups, pick guard, everything. The body wood, the whole nine yards, the stain. Um, the clear coat, everything, was about $300. Now, I wound my own pickups on this one. Well, by me winding my own pickups, I saved probably almost half the price. I mean, I can wind a set of three single coils for half of what I can buy single coils for. So, like I said, I saved money on the tuners. Instead of putting the Grovers on, I didn't put the Grovers on. So, if I would have used... You know, and you know, pickups can range anything from fifty to sixty bucks a set to two or three hundred dollars a set, depending on what you want. But if I was to use top quality parts to build this guitar instead of the one I use, this guitar would probably cost in between five hundred and six hundred. That's just for the parts. That's before I even do anything. That's just to order all the parts, get them to my shop. I haven't done nothing. I just ordered parts. So five to six hundred dollars if I use say Grover tuners or you know, name whatever shallower tuners depending depending what tuners you want you want locking tuners add another twenty thirty bucks to that fifty five what the standard tuners are you know you want Seymour Duncan pickups they might run seventy five eighty bucks a set I wound my pickups for about half of that a little bit less than half of that. Um, you want other pickups beside that? I mean, pickups can go, I and mean, that's where you get killed at pickups. Um, you know, body wood. I used a poplar body on this guitar. Um, you know, you go mahogany, or you know, any other, you know, swamp ash. You know, this number here, five to six hundred, that's conservative. I mean, you could easily spend eight hundred or thousand just in parts to build one of these guitars. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and use my numbers. $300. $300 to get all the parts for this guitar to my shop. I haven't done nothing yet. So how long does it take to build a guitar? So that depends. If you're going to buy your own neck or build your own neck. If you go on like All Parts or a place like that and buy a neck that's already made, all you got to do is make a neck pocket and bolt the neck on. And it'll probably take you between 30 and 35 hours. Take me between 30 and 35 hours. I don't. I build my own necks. So for me, it's anywhere from 40 to 
to 50 hours. Okay, 40 to 50 hours to build one guitar. That's a week's worth of work. Now, what could add time to that is the finish you use um, and how it's applied. If you, if you know, it doesn't take long to apply the finish, but if you've got to apply like white bomb pollen, they're going to put 20 coats on. That's, you know, you got to leave hours in between coats. You know, that's going to add up to a day, day and a half, two days just to finish right there. I mean, that could add to that 40 or 50 hours. Um, if you spray lacquer, you're going to spray lacquer and it's got a cure. Now you don't count that cure time. It's just going to hang in the corner. You're going to work on another guitar. But still, you, what you're looking at is you got to start at the beginning of the week. you got to end the week on Friday or Saturday, whatever day you end the week. And you've got to have X amount of guitars out because you got to make money. you got to make these guitars. you got to push them. Um, they got to sell. If they don't sell, you know, if it, if it takes you 50 hours but a total of three weeks, from start to finish, you know, it takes three weeks from start to finish because of the finish you use and because of other things. It still took 40 or 50 hours because you didn't work three solid weeks. You might have worked three days and then finished it and hung for two weeks while it cured, you know. So that one guitar a week, you know, now you're like one guitar a month. You see what I'm saying? So 40 to 50 hours a week. I make my own necks. I don't buy an X and bolt them on. You might buy an X and bolt them on. That's fine. I'm not. If you want to do that, that's fine. That's cool. I'm not against that. I used to, long time ago, I bought um, my own necks before I knew how to make necks. Before I knew how to make quality necks. So, how much do you charge? So, you got to make money. You're running the business. So, we already got $300 in parts. So, we're $300 in parts. So, what am I going to charge? So, if I charge 10 bucks an hour, okay, and say it takes 40 hours. $400 for that week. So it's going to cost, so that's, that's going to be my profit for the week. That's not very much money. Especially after you take taxes out of that. Not very much at all. So 15 bucks an hour is $600. Again, it's like, wow, 600 bucks. That's pretty good. Take taxes out of that. It's all right. 20 bucks an hour times 40. 800 take taxes out of that that's not bad that's not bad that's not really that good though if you think about it if you take, take that and divide it by 52 weeks after taxes yeah maybe what 25 28,000 a year so that's what I charge right there what I charge 25 an hour times not plus 40 a thousand dollars before taxes Okay, so 25 bucks an hour, $1,000, 300 I'm at $1,300 for that guitar that I just showed you earlier, that stress out guitar. That's how much I have to sell that guitar at in order to make my thousand dollar a week profit that's before taxes that's thirteen hundred dollars before taxes the minimum i gotta sell my guitar for is thirteen hundred dollars at that thirteen hundred dollars i'm gonna make thousand dollar profit now that's before taxes taxes are gonna come out of that and we're gonna say just keep it around number say seven hundred after the taxes come out i get seven hundred dollars in my pocket Right now, just say for instance, I can build 52 guitars a year, one guitar a week. 52. 52 guitars. That is a total of um, 35,900. We're just going to round it up to $36,000. Okay. I build one guitar a week. Cost me three hundred dollars to build it. I sell it for a thousand dollars. After taxes, seven hundred dollars what I put in my pocket. I sell one guitar a week, fifty-two weeks, and I make thirty-six thousand dollars a year. We're gonna finish this up because this video is getting a little long. 
I just wanted to give you an idea how much it's going to cost, how much I need to sell my guitars for, and why my guitars are priced the way they're priced. Now, anyone that follows my guitars know that I'm usually selling my guitars for $875. Okay. It costs 300 So that is... Five hundred seventy-five dollars profit for a guitar. I bought it for seventy-five. It cost me three hundred to build it before taxes. You got to take taxes out of that. After taxes come out, using round numbers, it's around three hundred. Maybe like three twenty-five or three thirty. But in that area, about three hundred dollars. So if I build this guitar, the one I showed you earlier, $300, and I sell it for $875, like I had it on my reverb page, it never sold. But if I sold it for $875, after taxes, I would put about $300 in my pocket. Not very much profit. The reality is I should sell it for at least $1,300. It'll never sell for $1,300. It never sold for $875. I had it on a reverb as low as $475. I kept dropping the price. I wanted to see how much it would actually sell for. I dropped it away to $475. It still didn't sell at $475. It cost me $300 to build it. That's a $175 profit before taxes. What's that going to be? $85 bucks after Eighty-five bucks after taxes? If I, if I had sold it for $475, I kept dropping it. I'd leave it on reverb for two weeks. At 875, then I dropped it by 50 or 75 bucks, 800. Then I left for two more weeks and I kept dropping it. And eventually I got down to this price. And it sat on there for like almost four weeks. At that price, I never sold and I ended up taking it off. At that price, after taxes, 85, 90, maybe 100 bucks profit for one guitar, 40 hours a week of work. Not very much money. Not very much money at all. I think this is about it. I think it's pretty much all I wanted to cover. How much the cost it cost me to build a guitar? Three hundred. Um, it could cost three hundred to five hundred for me, uh, depending on what what's going on there. Like I said, that one cost me three hundred to build, um, but I've also built them, and it's cost me as much as five. I don't think I've ever spent more than five on parts and materials. And you can do the math on that. Thousand dollars. That's fifteen hundred. What I had to sell it for, fifteen hundred. Every time this number goes up, this number here, the cost, this number, if it's going to take you forty hours, this number is going to stay the same. So in order to make the same profit, then that number, that thirteen hundred, has to be the fifteen hundred. If this costs six, then that number has to be the six hundred for me to make the same amount of profit. So, one last thing, real quick, how many guitars would I have to build in a year or in a month? Um. In order to make the money I'm making now. So I've worked a full-time job. I never built guitars full-time. I got a full-time job. I do build guitars on the side. And in order to make the money that I make now. In order for me to quit my job and build guitars full-time. I would have to build. Uh, I believe it's three a month. Three a month. Preferably four a month. But that's about 36 a year. Is what I'd have to build. I'd have to build three a month, basically out the door, three a month, or 36 a year to equal out to basically what I'm building now. Now, in order for me to quit my job, what do I got to build and what do I got to sell? Not, I can build as many as you want, but if you don't sell them, how much do I got to sell? If I'm going to quit my job, 52. 52 a year. That's one guitar a week. Basic math. $1,000 profit. 52. Now that's before taxes. That's 52,000. So after taxes, you're, took, you're looking about 40,000. 38,000, something like that. 38,000 in that area. At one a year. At one, a, a, one a week, 52 a year. After taxes, you're going to put 38,000 in your pocket. If I could do that, I would quit my job and build guitars full time. I can't do that. Um, realistically, I've been building guitars for almost 15 years. And here's something I never told anybody. 
in 15 years, I've sold two guitars to customers. Three guitars. Three guitars to customers. I sold three guitars to customers in 15 years. And that was really selling them way, way, way below what I should have sold them. You know what I mean? Like making, I didn't make a thousand dollar profit. I didn't make $500 profit. I probably made more like a $375 profit on those guitars. So, do the math on that 52 weeks a year. Take taxes out of that too. That was before taxes. So anyways, that's it. The cost that it cost me to build a guitar, what I got to sell it for to make a profit, and the, that's the reason I've only sold basically two guitars in a year. Um, 1300 1300 right here to 1500 is my starting point. Any guitar I build, that should be the minimum, 1300 I should not sell anything for less than 1300 I can't sell them for almost half of that. Um, 875 just a little bit over half of that. I, I can't sell them for that, let alone 1300 to make the money I make. Um, but that's it. Now you got an idea of how much it costs me to build a guitar, how much I need to sell a guitar for, and the whole nine yards. A lot of numbers on there. Um, hopefully I didn't lose you. I kind of lost myself a couple times in there, but that's about it. Thanks for watching. Go in the comment section. Tell me what you think. If you have any ideas on how I can make these numbers work in my favor, let me know. Um, don't forget to like I said, go in the comment section, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, we got, uh, let me do this real quick. Um, I got a pickup contest going on. It's going to be ending here shortly. I'm going to pick a winner. We're going to want pickups and send them out. So if you haven't gotten that, you still got time. This video is being uploaded, but you only got about a few days to a week. So that contest is going to be closing. Um, other than that, videos coming out over the next couple weeks. I don't know. It's going to be far and few between. It's freezing out. I'm not coming out and working in a shop with it being cold. It's nice out today. It's almost 60. So, but I didn't need a whole lot of work done. I made this video and, and did some other stuff that needed to be done. Um, yeah, the, over the next two or three months, I might even put one or two videos out a month instead of every week like I've been doing for the last couple of years. I'm getting told to come out in the freezing cold and work on guitars. When they're not being sold. Someone buying them, that's a different story. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video.